There are various personal aerial vehicles that are based on a multi-copter configuration. These include the Jetson 1, Rise Arrows Recon, and most recently, Rotorax Dragon. Looking at them, one wonders if we can have bigger two-seater versions of the multi-copter for higher utility. The answer is yes. We have seen it in the form of Ehang 216, the Xpeng X2, and even Volocopter X2. The multi-copter indeed has its benefits. First and foremost, there is high degree of control that it provides. There's also higher redundancy. The Achilles heel of the multi-copter is its high energy consumption, which leads to a lower flight time and thus lower range. Looking at these larger multi-copters, one again wonders, what if one sticks wings onto this? Would it not increase the range? Well, Air 1 by Air EV proves that it would. This two-seater multi-copter personal aerial vehicle is being designed as a sporty, easy-to-operate EV toll that can take you from A to B and land in your backyard. Air 1 suddenly burst on the scene when the news started coming out about its several successful flight tests. The startup was operating in stealth mode for over four years. Based on recent update, it looks like the aircraft is ahead in the development curve compared to other aircraft in its category. The completed flight tests included transition to forward flight from VTOL and load to full capacity. The aircraft will have a novel fly-by intent system that is already being used in high-end drones. The pilot does not have to worry about the power or throttle, which means a much smaller training curve is required to fly this plane. So let's have a look at the technical specifications of the aircraft. Air 1 has four coaxial counter-rotating rotors powered by eight motors. The total power rating of the motors is 575 kilowatts. The front pair of the rotor units are attached to the lower side of the fuselage while the rear sets are mated to the fuselage at the same point as the tail section. The tail section of Air 1 is interesting. It has a twin boom configuration, but this is only to give the aircraft stability. The tail does not have a rudder. The aircraft turns by changing speed of the rotors. At present, it has a fixed quadricycle landing gear. Although some of its drawings indicate that it might get a retractable landing gear in the future. The wing is relatively smaller with a wingspan of 7.5 meters. For a two-seater, the aircraft is not light by any means. It will be certified under part 23 of the FAA, that is, as a small aircraft. The empty weight of the aircraft is 868 kilograms. The payload capacity is 250 kilograms, meaning it can carry two passengers with some luggage. Air 1 has been tested at 1100 kilograms, that is nearly at its full loading capacity. Being heavier compared to other two-seaters, it also requires much more power. For comparison, the weight of Ehang 216 and the Xpeng X2 is just 360 kilograms. The Volocopter 2X has a weight of just 290 kilograms. Air 1 has a battery that is segmented into four packs that have a total capacity of 74 kilowatt hours. It is claimed that the aircraft has a cruise speed of 90 knots or about 103 miles per hour. But even at cruise speed, it does not get all its lift from the wing. The estimated wing area is just 4.5 square meters Furthermore, the wings do not have any control surfaces. The wings are only there to provide relief to the motors by generating up to 60% of the lift when the aircraft moves forward at the cruise speed. This reduces the power requirement and increases the range. From our calculations, the hover mode of Air 1 would consume around 202 kilowatts. This means that during cruise, it would still consume 121.2 kilowatts. This in turn means that the battery pack of 74 kilowatt hours won't be sufficient for one hour flight time with two people on board. Having said that, 
Air One would still have a flight time of over 30 minutes with some reserve which is better than all the other two-seater multi-copters. With a single person on board, our calculations reveal that it can go as long as 40 minutes provided that minimum time is used for hovering and most of the time is spent in forward flight. The top speed of this aircraft is 155 miles per hour, which is also vastly superior to other multi-copters. So what is our final verdict? Well, when it comes to performance, Air One seemingly is much better both in terms of flight time and top speed compared to other multi-copters. So sticking wings on a multi-copter does make a difference. Air One very deliberately does not rely completely on lift from wings as its rotors are the only source for its thrust. With battery technology improvement, the flight time can be increased. Flight time can also be increased by using a generator or a fuel cell. One has to mention that Air One has a very stylish cockpit which makes the aircraft look strikingly beautiful. Air One is also higher on the ladder for certification. Having said that, being fundamentally a multi-copter design brings with it certain limitations. The tilting body VTOL aircraft like the Skyfly X and Opener's Blackfly are much lighter and have comparable performance. Air One's price tag is the same as the Skyfly X that is 150,000 US dollars. So what do you think of Air One? Do let me know in the comment section. And with this the video is concluded. Please do give it a thumbs up if you've learned something from it. Thank you for your attention.